Hello and welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Bogner. I am Dr. Truett Bogner and as always glad to see you. On this episode, you're going to meet a super cool, super caring British athlete, Mr. Paul Skivington. Paul's story is remarkable. He lost his leg in a motorcycle accident while he was a British soldier. Yet years later, he not only played for Britain, but he became Great Britain's captain in the Simpson Cup. I am very proud to introduce this episode, and I am incredibly proud to have Paul on our show. Enjoy. Yeah. I spent a lot of time this weekend reading on the Simpson Cup. Tell us quickly, in your words, uh, what the Simpson Cup is and what it is meant to you. Okay, so, so firstly, uh, I have to start at the beginning. So there is a charity called the On Course Foundation, uh, and the On Course Foundation was started by a gentleman called um, John Simpson, who used to be um, the manager of Nick Faldo, Bernard Langer, Vijay Singh, Dale Hayes, really top level golfers. And he, he was also disabled himself. And he saw guys coming back injured from Afghanistan, Iraq. Uh, and he realized that there was something missing. And the thing that was missing was uh, the ability to compete mm. um, and having that fulfillment back because if you don't compete and you get injured in my opinion um well sorry you need you need to have something else to focus on uh, and he saw that and he so he started the on course foundation so that led to on course foundation usa um and then the natural progression to that is to have the the usa against the brits mm. um so every year started in 2012 um, we have uh, an event called the Simpson Cup, and one year is in America, one year is in the UK, backwards and forwards. Um, and I was the captain in 2017 at um, Birkdale. Okay, so I want to ask uh, a, a quick question uh, about golf and boxing and um, everything sports, the marathon, the whole nine yards. Before your accident, and I know you were a soldier, yeah. but before your accident, were you a very avid athlete at that time? Yes. Or did this happen? Okay. All right. Yes. So, because... so I was. I was very fit. I was a, an airborne force soldier, so I used to jump out of planes. But I was a, an engineer, cat badge, um, and I played football. I played rugby. I used to run, um, but I, after losing my leg, um, my activity levels just plummeted i didn't i didn't do anything didn't compete um and then found golf which well, what, what happened with me was i found when i had children i found myself always speaking in the past tense and always referring to me with two legs mm -hmm. pre-disability i used to do this i used to do that and that's not good <laughs> you know you need to, you need to look forward and uh yeah i, I started to train golf i started to uh, train and fight jujitsu. Um, I've only recently started running. I haven't done a marathon. I've done 10Ks. That's that's as far as I've gone. So that's um, six miles. <laughs> so only 20 to go. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so the, so the ability to compete for me, and, and this is what I say to it, to everybody is who has had a life-changing injury, is to find that external focus. Um, some, something that will put you with people that are in a similar situation to you, um, and 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 you can compete and you know and the, and the beauty of the game of golf is because of the handicap system you get to you can play against able-bodied people and have a great game so yeah. well that brings us to this wonderful quote um that i when i was doing my homework on you uh and great reading by the way everybody out there go go google paul skivington and you will have a wonderful weekend of great reading <laughs> But you have a quote out there, your own record is saying, golf has changed my life. The ability to compete against able-bodied people has given me a new, a part of my life back. Yes. Because I, when, I, when I first lost my, in fact, not when I first lost, for the number of years after losing my leg, my leg I just thought this was my lot, you know. Uh, this is it. I'm, this is my life. I'm, I'm not going to excel at anything. I'm not going to succeed at anything. I will just be poor guy with one leg, you know, the guy sat in the pub. Um, and that wasn't my destiny. You know, it's, I soon found that actually just because 
this has happened to me you know life isn't over and for me personally you know it was just the start of a new chapter in my life uh, and I've got to say it's better than the last chapter <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful man that's great that's great I actually uh that takes me back to a um interview I did last year with uh about three um athletes who are also amputees and and they said they would not go back either yeah they no. yeah it, it just it, it changes every you know obviously you, you, your whole life changes and my life was on a particular path um, and now I'm com completely different I went to university you know I've, I've achieved so much stuff which was not even on my radar previous pre radar previously um, and you know as long as you can stay fit and healthy and and exercise is a huge part of my life um, you know it's it's there for the taking. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a great message. That's a great message. Thank you for that. And I do want to say you are an architect. Uh, an architectural technologist. Technologist. Okay. All right. Yeah. So not, not quite as grand. Um, <laughs> I, uh, so that was the job I, I did when I first left the army. I went to university and, and studied architectural technology. Uh, and I do a little bit of that now, but now I, I work for uh, my own company called Cryoshow. Yes, well, we're going to talk about that in a few minutes, but I do yeah. want to, before we, before we end up, I do want to talk about your Instagram account, Instagram yeah. account and your social TikTok. media presence, which is something TikTok. that I love within the, within the disabled population. I yeah. love sports. I love athletes. You made a wonderful, wonderful interview already, Paul. Thank you so much. But I do want to talk about what you're giving people just by sharing some of your stories. And in your case, let's go a bit further. You yeah. share a lot of things. For example, getting hooked up on the, the, the door of the, uh, of the garage or, and, and whatever it was that I saw a few days ago. Oh, okay, yeah, my leg's falling off. <laughs> that wasn't even staged. That happened for real. My leg fell off. I got stuck. <laughs> well, it was wonderful. <laughs> so, but listen, what do you want people to 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 think when they see you out and about having this great life and this great time and all in the countryside and having all of the fun and this big smile on your face what message are you saying to us out my, the message i'm saying so i'm in this position today uh, and it wasn't always like that you know when I, when I first it took me five years to wear shorts i was so embarrassed and body conscious I, i've got a huge scar on my arm and I used to have that bandaged up permanently. I was so body conscious of how I looked, how I walked. And, I, you know, I wasted, I feel like I wasted five years. And if I can help people, you know, they can look at me and say, oh, crikey, look at him. He's wearing shorts or he's, he's climbing up that tree or he's doing this. If he can do it, so can I. And so the, my message is, is simple is just try it. You know, don't, don't be a what if person, you know. When, you, when you're dead, you don't regret the things you've done. You know, just get out and do it. That's great. That's great. Now, thank you, Paul. Thank you for everything. Now, quickly, cryo shower. So www.cryoshower.co.uk. So we're a company, and we were started by me and my two brothers. Um, one of my brothers, Wayne, who is a U.S. citizen. He lives in Nevada, in Vegas. And then my other brother, Dean, who's the CEO and founder, he lives in Marbella in Spain. So basically, I've got one leg. My brother, who's the Cirque du Soleil, or worked for the Cirque du Soleil as a performer, is a professional athlete. And then my other brother, Dean, who he's uh, the mindset guy. Um, we've all had our recovery journeys. And we are huge advocates of, of cold therapy. You know, getting the water cold, immersing your body. Uh, and there was nothing on, the, or there is nothing on the market, which is um, what you can use at home. You know, you, so, so for example, if you live in Nevada and you put your cold temperature on the coldest setting, it's not going to be cold enough for you to get into cryo, the cryo zone, as it were. So we're bringing that to market um, and hopefully we should have something in the US um, before the summer. Wow. OK. And is it doing very well in, in the UK so far? Yeah. So, so, so we have, we're, we're about to release an app. Um, and at the minute we're at the, we're in our, we're at the investment stage now, so we're looking for investors. Um, but so, so we're, we'll be shoot, we're shooting lots of content, but in the UK at the minute, we're locked down. So, uh, 
come the end of the month, then I'll be able to go back and do some nice cold sea swimming in the English Channel um, and shooting some content, which will be on my Instagram and TikTok. Um, yeah, and, and you know, it's a super exciting time and hopefully we'll be out in America for the launch uh, before the summer. Wonderful. Because we will, we will be launching in the US at the same time. Great. Wow. Well, all the best. It sounds amazing. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Paul, this has been a pleasure. Thank you so much for giving us this time. And again, you know, I, I love doing this show. I, I tell people I do this show because for selfish reasons, because after every interview, I always feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> but you really are quite remarkable. And your story is very, very just, you know, just a, just a great story. I, I know you I, I'm, in America, we have this this little trend now where where the, the disabled population we don't want to use the word inspirational so i kind of caught myself there and i almost said your story is very normalizing but at the end <laughs> of the day it is you know listen yeah. you're, you're just a cool guy doing some you know doing your doing your thing doing some doing what you love to do being an athlete and that that's really i think the message that i heard brilliant thank yeah. you so much thank you and if, by the way if anybody you know just dm me if i can help you i'll help you I, I'm super all about you know, paying forward. I don't want anybody to waste any time being body conscious or you, you know worried about this, worried about that. If I can help, I will help. Wow, man! You, thank you so much for throwing that in there. Take no care. Worries. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much.